Hello everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to demo Main Concept Live Encoder. Live Encoder is an all-in-one encoding application, meaning you don't need to be a technical genius to set up a professional streaming workflow. We have thousands of users across the globe that use Main Concept Live Encoder to broadcast live performances, religious events, educational seminars, and other events of all kinds. So why would you use Main Concept Live Encoder? It's simple. It could be managed by a visual web interface, as I will show you today, or integrated into an existing workflow via API. You can use common input sources like SDA and IP, and advanced main concept H.264 and HEVC codecs are built in for higher quality and faster encoding speeds. It automatically prepares content for every screen type out there, so users always get the best viewing experience possible. Not to mention, it supports live archiving and direct CDN upload. Main Concept Live Encoder can support up to 8K HEVC 10-bit encoding, made possible with Hybrid GPU. Hybrid GPU is an amazing technology that allows you to accelerate encoding up to 2.5 times by combining Main Concept HEVC software with dedicated NVIDIA GPU hardware. Now, let me show you how this works. First, I open Main Concept Live Encoder using the browser. I enter my credentials, log in, and there we go. So I need to set up the input source, so I go to Sources and click Add. From the drop-down, I select the Kona 5 8K SDI capture card, save it, and then close out. I also need to select from the video drop-down 8K and 10-bit. So I select 8K 10-bit, save it, and now you could see the content preview in the window. I'm using a NASA 8K test video. Now I'll go back to the Jobs tab, then save the source settings, then go to the Encoding tab within Live Encoder. So we need to select a preset that will be compatible with Dash and 8K resolution for HEVC 10-bit. So selecting that here. Okay, now it's time to select the codec options for main concept HEVC. However, because I'm using a common grade CPU, a pure software encoding in 8K 10-bit cannot be done in real time. So to make this possible, I'm choosing a unique main concept technology called hybrid GPU acceleration. As compared to full hardware encoding alone, the main concept driven mode uses the GPU only for the pure frame encoding, while all of the pre-processing, bitrate control, and coding decisions are done by our software codec. This guarantees the best encoding quality at still a significantly improved speed, up to 2.5 times faster. So now I will select HEVC GPU driven mode from the dropdown, and then select the three NVIDIA GPUs. This is something to point out as well. A single NVIDIA GPU cannot perform 8K60 10-bit frame encoding, so we use another unique algorithm for main concept that splits the encoding across three discrete RTX GPUs. Okay, now that I have the encoding presets done, I'm gonna go to the Outputs tab and configure my outputs. In this scenario, I want to encode live for HLS, Dash, and live archiving. The archive format will be a simple MP4 file with the highest encoding quality, which is still the 100-bit, chunked into 20-second files. Now I'm setting up the HLS output, and to ensure that it'll be compatible, I'm going to select the same segment duration. Same with dash, for the dash stream, setting up the same duration. And now that that's ready, I'm going to select all three outputs, including the archive, Click Save, and when ready, Start Selected. While the encoding is running, let's take a look at the system load. In the Monitor menu, we can see the encoding process updating every few seconds. And in the Windows Task Manager I just opened, we can now also see the CPU and GPU usage went up. You can clearly see here the CPU is only at about 25% on the Xeon E5 Gold, which leaves enough room for a smaller CPU or other parallel processing, as well as more renditions, uh, if that's what you like. 
While we're running this live encoding, let's take a look at the encoded output. First, I'll take a look at the archive files by browsing to the storage folder on the encoding server and use media info to show that this is a correct 8K archive format. You could see here it's in HEVC, that the resolution is 8K, and that there's a 10-bit bit depth. Next, let's look at the streaming output. Here's the integrated HTTP server for the Dash content. In production environments, this of course is uploaded to a CDN, but I'm using this only to get the URLs for the player. I'm copying now the URL of the Dash playlist file so I can use it in a Dash player uh, from another computer. I'm using Pot Player, which uses hardware decoding to support 8K playback, and it works. You'll notice that the playback isn't smooth, and that's because it's streaming at 100-bit. Uh, it's just not possible to do this on the remote computer that I'm using to facilitate this demo. The same now with HLS package. I will copy the URL of the playlist file into Pot Player uh, to show the streaming playback. Here we go. Copy the playlist file. Click OK. And there we go. Live streaming with HLS in 8K. This is all possible because of hybrid GPU technology for main concept. This allows you to use off-the-shelf components, as many people would like to do, to set up a sophisticated live streaming workflow, but still keep the costs manageable and the performance exceedingly high. Okay, last, we can test and play the archive file. For this, I'm gonna switch back to the actual coding server. First, I'm stopping the selected encoding, and you could instantly see that the CPU and GPU load on the left once again went down. Now I'm playing one of the 20 second chunked archive file in Media Player Classic. And here we could also see that it plays just fine, so you've got an excellent archive. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and learned how simple and affordable it could be to set up a live stream using Main Concept Live Encoder. If you'd like to try it yourself, visit mainconcept.com to download a free demo version today. Thanks for watching.